meaning or all. Now you have seen my kitty caddies. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. I still have to practice sliding here in this room. We are going to do some differential equations today. A pretty fun one that I have um, seen on various occasions before. It's basically the force manipulation of the differential operator. You have probably seen it already on the thumbnail. We are going to deal today with d squared dt squared of y being equal to dy dt squared. So meaning what we basically did is we factored out the square on our differential operator. And for this type of differential equation, for this force manipulation that actually does exist, a simple solution. Yes, and we are going to deal with this today. But before we get into the main video, I would like to thank Dashlane for sponsoring this video. Because you know, I've recently been hacked and well, Dashlane was so kind to actually back this video up. Since the hacking, I tried to make all of my accounts way more secure. And for this reason, I decided to partner up with Dashlane for this very video. First and foremost, Dashlane is a program or an application for your phone to store all of your passwords that come, for example, with your Gmail account. You can imagine Dashlane to be like an extremely secure vault where you can put all your account information in and they will store it for you. And the best thing is, not even Dashlane does know about your passwords because everything is nice and encrypted. Next to securing all of your account information, Dashlane also provides their users with strong and random password generation, with a VPN, with mobile versions, browser extensions, etc. So it's really a great deal. If you don't want to remember all of your passwords everywhere anymore, except for one strong master pass password that you need to know for you to access Dashlane in the first place, then make sure to check out Dashlane for completely free by using the link at the top of the description. It's completely free. If you only want to register one device, you can get Dashlane for completely free. Try it out and you can support the channel this way. No credit card required, nothing. Seriously nothing. And it's a great deal. I'm trying it out on my own at the moment. Also, by using the link, you can get a 30-day free premium trial to try out all the premium stuff that come with Dashlane. So, if you really want to support the channel, try out the link at the top of the description. Thank you, Dashlane, for supporting this video. And now we are going to dive into the real thing. We are going to rewrite this a little bit such that it becomes more clear what we actually want to do. So, this thing is basically equivalent to y double prime of t, I'm going to put it like this, so y double prime being equal to, this has been this side, well basically this is just y prime but squared. So y prime of t but the whole thing squared. And now we are going to do a little change of variable basically and, and then we are almost done. So this problem in itself isn't hard but it's um, a really nice thing, a, a really nice fact that there's actually a nice analytical solution to this thing. So. Um, let us see. Let. We are going to take y prime because you can iterate the differential operator. So um, if we just say that y prime is equal to, um, I don't know, eta for example, eta of t, then that means if we differentiate both sides by iterating the, differen uh, the differential operator, y prime, um, eta prime, is thus nothing other than y double prime. Now I hope you can see where this is going. We now know that eta prime is nothing other than eta squared. Okay, after rewriting this problem in a pretty much equivalent but new way, which is easier to deal with. So eta prime is thus nothing other than eta squared. And now we just need to simply, well, separate both sides, okay? Separation of variables. Dividing both sides by eta squared, if it's not equal to zero, we don't want to consider the trivial solution. Trivial solution does exist, zero is a solution here. Should be, yes, exactly. Y being equal to zero is actually a solution. Meaning, um, that's equivalent to saying that eta prime over eta squared is thus nothing other than one. And now we can simply integrate both sides with respect to t. 
leaving us with, okay, on the one hand, we have this integral of the eta over eta squared being equal to the integral of dt in this case. And this is really easy to integrate, okay? This is just basically a polynomial in some way. So our left hand side is going to be nothing other than negative one over eta. So this is the really easy integration part being equal to one really hard integration part. Okay, this is nothing other than t. Also, we have some arbitrary constant. I don't care what it's called. Let's call it kappa because I'm a kappa boy. Um, you also get a constant here, but you can bring it to the other side and calculate that this is just yet another constant. We are going to call it kappa. And now we are going to take the reciprocal on both sides, okay, under the condition that's not equal to zero. We don't want that because uh, eta is not equal to zero. Um, can this hold? If eta doesn't go to infinity, then this won't go to zero. Never at the moment. So it, it really doesn't quite matter. We are just going to do it and let's bring the t plus um, kappa to the other side so that we have separated for eta. Meaning or Now you have seen my kitty caddies. I I didn't have enough sound absorbers left to actually get rid of those kitty caddies. So um, in the background we actually have some cute freaking kitty caddies. So we are going to end up with eta, which is nothing but next step y prime being equal to negative one over t plus kappa. And now we are going to go through the same process again, integrating both sides with respect to t, and then we are basically done. Okay, this is a second order nonlinear differential equation, meaning we are going to end up with exactly two constants. Meaning, integrating y prime with respect to y is going to leave us with just y of t, the solution to our differential equation, being thus equal to the integral of, I'm going to bring negative to the front, dt, over t plus kappa. Now we can introduce a little substitution. Um, let, I don't care, let's let's use uh, sigma balls yet again. Okay, sigma b equal to t plus kappa. You're going to see that uh, dt is nothing but d sigma balls. And thus we can just do the substitution. We're going to end up with one over sigma, which is natural log of sigma. And this is natural log of t plus kappa. Overall, after doing all of these steps, y of t is thus nothing other than negative natural log logarithm on the principal branch of t plus kappa. And don't forget, plus some new arbitrary constant, I'm going to call it c because it's going to be transformed into something really nice in a second. If we distribute the negative sign into here as an exponent, we are going to get one over t plus kappa. Let's get rid of this. This is already a nice solution, but we can make it even more nice overall by using the fact that some c out of the real or complex numbers, okay, or let's just say also out of the real numbers, because we have to consider branch cuts and shit if we do it complex. Never mind, some c out of the real numbers is nothing other than the natural log of e to the c. Okay, and e to the c is just yet another constant. We are going to call it e snack, as always, e, e snack on this channel and now we can use the logarithm rules to turn this into um, the multiplication of arguments. So e snack over t plus kappa. Isn't that a pretty nice solution to our problem? So um, we have actually found a nice closed form solution to this um, weird manipulation of the differential operator and it turns out to be this. I also tried the same thing with to the third power. And this just became an absolute mess because um, <laughs> integrating this is actually not even close to being trivial because you are going to end up with, um, if I calculated everything cor correctly, with the Jacobi amplitude function that you also get for the harmonic approximator when trying to solve this thing analytically correct without small angle approximation. So not the harmonic approximator, just the harmonic oscillator, okay, with the with the sine term in, in instead of the simple theta here. So um, it's going to turn out to be an absolute mess if you do this with the third power. But if you want me to make a video on that, maybe I'm going to make a video on that. But uh, it's it's an absolute mess. It's not even close to being this nice. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, make comment, channel, like. Don't forget to check out Dashlane because, um, yeah, 
dash lane is pretty good. I'm using it now each and every day because I don't want to lose my account anymore, anymore. Never ever again. It was just hell of a ride losing my account and, and it's not a fun thing. And you can try it out for completely free. No credit card required, nothing. You create an account and you can use it on, on one de device of your choice without paying anything forever. So it's a really great deal and you can just support the channel this way. So you can uh, make me keep the sponsor basically by trying out Dashlane. If you want to see more differential equation videos, um, yeah, just tell me in the comments and up until the next video, have flim the day. Ciao! Das war ein Lied.